Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is number 76 in the Sudoku problem series. This is an extra region problem submitted by Frappi. Um, and the way this one works is the highlighted region must also contain a set of digits from 1 to 9 without repetition. Um, and the goal of this is to place the digits into that highlighted region. There is a link below where you can get a copy of this problem so that you can try it for yourself. I will wait a few seconds so you can pause the video um, and give this one a try and then I'll be back to explain how this one works. Okay, so this is very much like the basis of a Windoku. With a Windoku, there would be um, other regions in the um, in the matching locations. But the important thing here is um, because this must contain a set of the digits 1 to 9 without repetition, but you're still limited by box logic, um, you, you can just start asking yourself, where can the digits go in this region? Well, you can't repeat one in this box. You can't repeat one in this box. You can't repeat one in this box. So this becomes the one. Uh, you can't repeat two in this box and you can't repeat two in this column. So one of these becomes a two. And you can just work through and do these eliminations. You can't repeat three in this box. You can't repeat three in this box. So this is actually a two, three pair. And this three resolves it. This becomes the two and this becomes the three. Now, um, we... What? looks next we've got a four five six already in this row so these become four five and six because we have to put it in this box but we can't put it in this row this can't be the six or the five because there's a five and six looking at it this becomes the four the six here takes the six out of here so this becomes the five and this becomes the six these become seven eight nine now we know that this one can't be the nine this one can't be the seven and this one can't be the eight now this is where it gets a little bit more tricky to resolve this the question we now want to ask ourselves is, where do the other digits go? Because we need to put a 4 here to complete this box. We can't just continue working here. We need to put a 4 here to complete this box. Now, we don't need it to solve the, the, the problem. We just need to place these. But you do need to put a 4 here, which means that these three cells are 7, 8, 9. But you can't put an 8 or a 9 there. So that becomes the 7, which makes that the 9, that the 8, that the 7, and that is the solution to the problem. If you don't put those digits in, it will still, if you manage to do that in your head, that will still work. All you needed to do was resolve these cells. But it is seeing that this cannot be a 7, 8, 9, and the 8, 9 here forces this to be 7, which is what resolves all of that. Very nice twist at the end. I really like that one. Thank you, Frappi, for sending this one through. I really do appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the series and all of the content that's available on the channel. And as always, good luck with your solving.